So the Springboks have just announced their side to take on the Romanians. Quite a different looking team to what we did see in the first game. Up against the Scottish, but the Springboks, they're sitting one win from one, trying to make it two here and looking to increase that points differential. Looking through at the starting lineup, it will be Oxnashe at number one, Bongyo Manumbi at number two, and he is going to be captain for the Springboks in this fixture. And then number three, Vincent Cock, a man who we didn't see last week, so we assumed that he was being saved to start this match up against Romania. And that is exactly what the Springboks have done. Looking at the locks at number four, they have gone with Jean Klein. That is due to the injury of Eben Etzebeth, who is expected to be out for seven to ten days. So he will be missing this match, but should be back just in time to take on the Irish. But Jean Klein, they were always going to give him a crack early on in this competition. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Number five, they've gone with the youngest lock that they've got. And that is Marvin Ori looking at the loose forward trio. Number six, it is Marco van Staden. Number seven, they've gone with Kwaka Smith. And number eight, Dwayne Vermeulen. So three changes from the last match up against Scotland. Vermeulen starting, I think, will surprise a few people as they did think maybe he would be safe for next week up against Ireland. But they want to give him more game time, get Big Thor fired up and have him rearing to go for the next Important fixture, number nine, they have gone with Kobus Reinach, and due to the fact that they've got four halfbacks in the squad, makes it no surprise that they've gone with the two who didn't play in the first game up against Scotland, number 10. This is where they've gone with Damian Valimza, so giving him that start at number 10, rather than playing 15 like he did last week, and Marnie Libok, nowhere to be seen for this game up against Romania. Number 11, it is Makazoli Mapimbi, his first game of the Rugby World Cup, but of course, a staple of that 2019 team that did take out the Rugby World Cup Championship. And he'll be looking forward to his first minutes. Number 12, they've gone with Andre Esterhazen. Number 13 being Kane and Moody. The combination, they did very well. Up against the All Blacks, the power game of Esterhazen. Partnered with the X Factor of Kane and Moody. Means that this will be a very entertaining combo to watch. Number 14, they have actually gone with Grant Williams. Little bit of a surprise for some people, but they have got the option of playing Williams out on the wing if they need him. They've decided to rest Kurtley Arinsa, resting Cheslin Colby, and giving Grant Williams that start out on the wing. And we got to see him off the bench in the game up against Scotland. The man has got elusive pace and will be looking to get that little bit further than he did up against the Scottish. He got ankle tapped at the last minute by Finn Russell. If it wasn't for that ankle tap though, Williams was getting himself a try. That is exactly what I think he'll get in this game. And then to close out the starting lineup at number 15, it is Vili LaRue looking through at the bench. Number 16, his first chance at hooker throughout 2023. They have gone with Dion Forey, so no Malcolm Marks for this game. Did take a little bit of a cut on his head in the last fixture, but I assume from the get-go they weren't planning on playing Malcolm Marks here as they want him as fresh as they can have him for that game. Up against Ireland, number 17, it is Stephen Kitsoff. And then number 18, Trevor Nakanye. So the only prop to miss out for this game is Franz Malharba, Ajis Neyman. He is the number 19. His offloading game last week was impeccable. Number 20, they have gone with Jasper Visa. Had a great game last week. Making plenty of metres, pushing off defenders, and he's going to be coming off the bench fresh as a daisy for this match. Up against Romania, number 21, they've gone with Jaden Hendrickson. And number 22, they've gone with Fuff the Clerk. So all four halfbacks are actually in this team to go head-to-head -head up against the Romanians. Now, I mentioned about the fact that we were going to be seeing the two who didn't play up against Scotland, but I don't think anyone predicted to see all four all used in the same lineup. But of course, it gives them plenty of options. The ball should be getting out of that breakdown very quickly, very efficiently. Romania could be a very fast-paced game. And whether or not that does tire out the Romanians even faster, we will have to wait and see. In the last man, in the 23-man side, it is going to be Jesse Creel. But this game, it's going to be an entertaining one, kicking off at 1 a.m. New Zealand time on Sunday morning. Well, that will be a 3 p.m. kickoff in South Africa on Saturday. It's going to be an outstanding game. We will be live on the channel doing the commentary. So if you are new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We'll also have a preview of this match coming out a little bit closer to kickoff. But thank you all very much for tuning in. Do let me know what you think of this lineup in the comments down below. And I will see you all for the next one.